Hello and welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. So this video is the part of our series called React and Redux Shopping Cart. If you haven't watched the previous video, please make sure to do that first. And in today's video, we are going to deal with adding the Redux store. And in the next video, we'll deal with the reducers. But let's just start by forking this current project. And I'm quickly going to rename this. All right, as well, I'm going to move app component to a separate file. And the file name is going to be app.js. I think as well, we'll need the data and the products component. So far, looks good. Let's just import our app component, which we just created. And let's see if it's working fine or not. Okay, component is not defined. It's definitely cause we did not import react into the app component, component. All right, let's see it in action. Everything's looking good. Uh, let's just get started by importing the Redux functions. These are going to be the basic necessities of any React and Redux application. So this video uh, is basically the create store object video. So there are two main functions from Redux that we are going to need. Uh, one of them is create store and another is apply middleware, which we'll look afterwards. Uh, there is one more thing that we need. We need a provider and that is going to be provided to us by React Redux. I'm just going to import the provider from React Redux. So these are the basic imports that you need for your or any React and Redux application. So let's get started by creating our store. So create store requires two arguments. First is the reducer and the second one is the middleware. But once you have the store, you need to pass it to a provider. All right. So rather than rendering the app, we are going to render the provider, which we just imported at the top. All right. And inside the provider, we are going to just pass our application app. Provider needs to pass a store, which we are going to do it over here. All right, so this is the basic React and Redux setup. And let's see if are there any errors or not. Okay, so it is saying it needs a reducer. So let's just go ahead and create an empty reducer first. So the first step of creating reducer is, of course, you need to have combined reducers function, which of course we can do it in this file, but I'm just going to go ahead and create a new file over here. I'm going to create a new folder over here called Redux. And inside Redux, I'm going to have another folder called Reducers and one more folder called Actions. We're going to look at the Actions later on. But inside the Reducers folder, I'm going to have an index file, which will be the combined Reducers function. So combined reducers function is provided to us by Redux. And I'm just simply going to use it over here. And this is going to be a function that needs to be executed. And it needs some reducers over here. And this also defines the store for our create store function. Okay, so we are going to have a cart over here, but we don't have anything yet. So we are going to pass and cart over here. So this cart is going to be our initial state. Okay. And as well, I'm going to have a new file over here called cart dot reducer dot JS. It's up to you if you want to use dash or underscores. So I'm just going to create a new file called cart underscore reducer. Inside cart reducer, 
I'm going to have a function called cart reducer which will accept an initial state all right and it will also have an action so action has a type called i'm just going to since we are not using typescript i'm just going to show it to you over here so an, so an action object looks like this so it has a type which is a string then it has a payload payload is any data that you need to pass all right then state is the initial state that you are going to define of course we are have to return the state every time so based on the actions the state is going to change itself if we say initial state is empty an action is just an object so it is going to be an empty object and okay i forgot to add the method function over here and we are just returning an empty state every time to the reducer so we are just going to return an empty state so that is going to be our cart reducer so we have to of course import that right so the file name is cart reducer and once we have the combined reducers combine our any of the reducers we can use it inside our store so I'm just going to import our reducer from so we have a folder over here called redux inside redux we have reducers and inside we have an index file so I'm just going to simply say that like this so we are going to pass this reducers to our create store as the first argument and the store will have the data but how do you access that data inside your app that we are going to look into the next video okay so far we don't have any errors but as well we are not utilizing the store which is been in injected inside our provider so see you in the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.